Therefore, it is important that this summit will point the way to the future for initiatives like the K Rise Korea program, of which Kenya is an active participant, to be extended across Africa. Such programs are not just about enhancing production, but are also about building capacity and transferring technology to promote sustainability and resilience, especially in the light of escalating threat of global climate change. Secondly, I'm optimistic that a primary area of focus in our deliberation shall be science and technology. To be effective and sustainable, a, a repositioned partnership between Korea and Africa must be intentional in harnessing the potential of the fourth industrial revolution. Without a doubt, <coughs> Korea's impressive advancement of ICT and especially in the fields of robotics, biotechnology, artificial intelligence, and quantum computing can enhance Africa's capacity to undertake successful economic transformation. I therefore call for a significant enhancement of technology transfer and knowledge exchange in order to empower our youth and spur inclusive economic development. Increased involvement of the private sector from both regions through investment will stimulate growth, create jobs, and foster innovation. Mr. President, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Uh, Despite these gains, African nations continue to struggle against a rising multitude of complex, interrelated challenges, which not only diminish our capacity to develop in accordance with our potential, they also actively undermine our investment and achievements. They include an escalated debt crisis, low access to development resources in our international financial markets, high costs of this limited financing, heightened vulnerability to fluctuations in global economy, including inflation, supply chain disruptions, which make the prices of essential goods beyond reach of many. Geopolitical crises and negative impacts of climate change have also made significant contribution to this situation. These challenges underscore the urgent need for a more equitable and inclusive global development financial architecture beginning with the investment of contributions to the World Bank concessional lending window to enable African countries to effectively respond to economic shocks and pursue development agenda. We are asking at this point Korea, working with other countries to double its contribution to IDA and working with the International uh, uh, Monetary Fund to consider channeling special drawing rights to the Africa Development Bank so that we can access concessional development financing for African countries. The vision of the Korea Africa Summit is to bring the inspiring president of the miracle of the Han River to bear on Africa's potential to generate shared prosperity for present and future generations. I therefore look forward with great anticipation to engaging in discussions focusing on the following areas. The first critical issue with high development potential and requiring attention is food security. Africa's rich natural resources and growing and increasing youth skill population present, present a significant opportunity for growth in agriculture, industry, and trade. I applaud Korea's willingness to collaborate with Africa in enhancing food production. This support is vital, and when expanded to include sharing of cutting-edge agricultural technology and expertise, will be transformative. Korea's highly developed capacity in renewable energy and sustainable technology is a vital complement of Africa's ambition to unlock its abundant resource potential, both through the continent's incomparable green energy potential as well as 
the manufacturing and industrial processing of other plentiful resources by means of environmental sustainable practices. Together, Korea and Africa can address the challenges of climate change while pursuing economic development in a manner that respects and upholds our environmental obligations, Initiatives that promote green growth and sustainable practice within African countries are absolutely vital and Korea's partnership cannot be overstated. Additionally, it is my hope that we shall also make progress in deliberating about peace and security as stability is the foundation of prosperity. Africa's Agenda 2063 underscores a peaceful, secure continent as a prerequisite for economic development. As a champion for institutional reforms within the African Union, I believe that there exists a unique and historic opportunity for Korea to partner with us in this singularly important endeavor.